Hey, Charles Hoffman here from Plugin Alliance. Today, we'll be walking through the BX Opto Compressor Plugin. It's a character-rich optical compressor made to emulate the characteristics of many hardware optical compressors. It has some bells and whistles like a speed control, mix control, and sidechain filter section that set it apart from an opto compressor like the LA-2A. In addition to the BX Opto, we'll also take a look at the BX Opto Pedal, a simpler version of the BX Opto that guitarists can map to a MIDI controller when performing live. To demo the BX Opto, use the link below to start a Plugin Alliance Mega Bundle trial. It'll give you access to all of Plugin Alliance's products for 30 days. If you're an existing Mega Bundle subscriber, you can also download and install BX Opto immediately using the Plugin Alliance installation manager on your computer. Let's listen to a few audio examples so you can hear how the BX Opto sounds. So before diving into BX Opto's parameters, how do optical compressors work? Well, in a hardware optical compressor, the amplitude of the input signal illuminates a light. An LDR, or light-dependent resistor, is positioned near the light and controls the amount of gain reduction applied to the signal running through the compressor. The higher the amplitude level, the brighter the light will shine, leading to more gain reduction. Let's take a look at the controls on the BX Opto. To start, we have the peak reduction knob. This is used to control the amount of gain reduction applied to your signal. As you turn up the peak reduction knob, you increase the sidechain gain. This causes BX Opto to respond more aggressively to your signal. Optical compressors don't provide attack and release parameters like some other types of compressors. Instead, the attack is dependent on the rate at which the light illuminates and the sensitivity of the LDR. In a hardware optic compressor, the release is dependent on the rate at which the light darkens and, again, the sensitivity of the LDR. Other factors come into play, such as the type of light source used and the material the resistor is made of. In general, the process of a light illuminating and darkening is nonlinear, so you end up with a smooth and natural sound. Compared to a compressor like an 1176 with the ability to select ultra-fast attack and release times, opto compressors provide a more laid-back form of compression. They gently round transients, preserving much of the articulation in vocals and acoustic guitars. Optical compressors are best suited for gently balancing overall track levels and applying color, rather than dealing with explosive drum transients. Brainworks has introduced a parameter to BX Opto called Speed that provides you with additional envelope control. It mainly affects the release time, not the attack time. The gain reduction backs off at high values quicker than at low values. The output control allows you to apply up to 24 decibels of makeup gain to the compressed signal. The meter panel provides an accurate visual representation of the gain reduction applied in decibels. The sidechain section allows you to modify the frequency response of the signal running through BX Opto's internal sidechain circuit. It doesn't filter the signal that you hear. Instead, it filters the signal that BX Opto is responding to when it applies compression. For example, selecting a high pass filter and cutting up to 100 Hz will make BX Opto less responsive to transient material below 100 Hz. If the resonant low end of a kick in your drum bus is causing compression to remain applied for too long, you may want to apply this form of processing. BX Opto will ignore those low end transients and only respond to your drum bus's snappier and punchier top end.
The sidechain filter type section provides four different filter type options. There's a high pass, a low pass, a wide band pass, and a narrow band pass filter. The sidechain frequency knob lets you adjust the band's center frequency from 20 to 20,000 Hz. In the middle, there's an on off switch with a third option to solo the sidechain signal, allowing you to hear the signal triggering compression. Finally, the mix control allows you to control the blend between the uncompressed and compressed signal. Now let's take a look at the BX Opto pedal. If you're a guitarist who performs live using an Ableton setup with in-the-box effects, the BX Opto pedal is a simplified version of BX Opto that's easy to control live using a MIDI controller. The BX Opto pedal combines the peak reduction and output knobs into one knob called the density knob. Density controls the sidechain gain as well as the makeup gain. You can turn up the density knob to increase the amount of compression applied while simultaneously applying makeup gain. You get the characteristics of compression, like dynamic range control, without the loss in perceived loudness. If you're trying to apply compression live, being able to do this with one MIDI controller knob is great. To adjust for overdriven gain at the density stage, a level trim knob is provided with a range of negative 12 to 0 decibels. By default, the knob is set to 0 decibels. When a signal is overdriven, the level trim can be pulled back a bit to increase headroom. The speed knob on the BX Opto pedal can be used exactly like the one on the BX Opto, allowing for envelope adjustments that mostly affect the release time. A gain reduction LED in the middle of the plugin lights up red to indicate when gain reduction is being applied. Finally, a stomp switch turns the plugin on or off, giving this pedal plugin a classic guitar rig feel. If you map the stomp switch to a switch on a MIDI foot controller, you can punch the BX Opto pedal in and out of your effects chain. The BX Opto is an awesome optical compressor, great for adding subtle warmth and clarity to a range of audio material. Optical compressors are somewhat slow, so applying them to unruly signals that need a lot of aggressive gain reduction isn't where they shine. However, they're perfect for adding smooth and transparent compression to your audio, along with beautiful character. Brainworks' unique approach to adjusting the compression envelope of BX Opto introduces a sound that's impossible to replicate with a real-world optical compressor. Again, using the link below, you can demo BX Opto for 30 days by starting a free Mega Bundle trial. If you're an existing subscriber, you can download BX Opto through the PA Installation Manager on your computer. Make sure to subscribe to the Plugin Alliance YouTube channel for more walkthrough videos like this, and give this video a like if it helped you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.